Hey everybody, today I'm going to be telling a story. Uh, this is a bit different, it's not a review, but I'm going to be talking about Radiohead, a band that I've yet to cover. They're one of those top three favorite bands of mine. But I do want to go, and go in depth about how I met Tom York, and I did to get his signature. But I also want to just talk a little bit about my opinions on Radiohead, where I fall on what albums I like more than others, uh, how often I listen to them, etc. So let me start with the story in a little bit of background. Years, like, I was around 2018, I started to get really obsessed with Radiohead for a bit. Um, I'm not as like, obsessed. I still like them the same amount, but I'm not as like crazy about every little detail per se anymore. But needless to say, I... In June, I saw Radiohead on the Moonshape Pool Tour, which was very great. Very excellent tour. Very great show. Excellent set list. Really good. And um, later, though, a few months later, I would go to Tom York's solo show for the Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. And um, at that show, there was a lot of rumors. I mean, there was a lot of people on Reddit talking about how they were able to go back behind the venue and kind of get his autograph and everything. Uh, so I figured, you know, you know, I'm gonna, even though it was cold and it was in December, I was like, yeah, I'll wait. And uh, I brought my personal favorite Radiohead album with me to get signed. I brought the Benz. And after waiting quite a while, he came around, walked to pretty much most people, and he ended up signing it. Now, me being a little starstruck... I really didn't know what to ask him, didn't know what to say, so I kind of just was like, thank you, and, you know, that was about it. But, um, that's probably the first time I've ever, well, it's the first time I've met anybody as, I got a musician as big as he is. Uh, I actually, this isn't the first time I've gotten an autograph from a musician. I did get CJ Ramon's autograph on my bass guitar when he was around. But, um, yeah, that was a pretty interesting day. It was pretty fun. I have to mute my computer. I'm sorry about that. And, uh, yeah. Now a little bit more about my opinions on Radiohead and why I'm maybe not as obsessed with them and how I've come to appreciate them even more as time has gone on. Um, you see, in 2018, I was, like, really obsessed. And also during that time, I was a lot... I don't know, I, I don't want to sound all sappy, I hate, I, you know, I hate that, but needless to say, uh, I'm not as, like, obsessive now, but I still appreciate them the same amount, and I think the reason that is, is because it was, like, the only thing I was listening to for a little bit, didn't always help my mood, because Radiohead music isn't always uplifting, so, um, during that time, I wasn't always the best, but afterwards, like, after I started, you know, once again expanding my music taste a bit more, listening to some new stuff, some old stuff, and just a whole bunch of different artists, I really do feel like I, um, began to appreciate Radiohead a little bit more. Because when you're overdoing something like that, over-listening over to an artist, I feel like you tend to not really appreciate them to the full extent. And, um, now that I more just listen to them on occasion, I can really appreciate, um, all the different things involving Radiohead even more now, because now it seems a bit more special. Um, my personal favorite album is The Benz. I think it's a flawless album. I love it. I love how they're able to take the more guitar-based and transform it into something great. Obviously, OK Computer is a classic, but I, actually my second favorite is Kid A. I love Kid A. And I love Tom's solo stuff. Overall, one of the greatest, most talented groups out there, but that's just, I wanted to share this quick little story about how I met Tom York and my thoughts on the band. Um, I'm probably going to do another review today, but uh, yeah, that is it for now.